hello everybody uh, expecting that all of you are in good health at your home so today in this session we will discuss summer internship program a introduction or we can say that uh, briefly what happens in the summer internship program uh, we will discuss today now you know uh, like uh, we have student from different backgrounds like from bcom then bba then ba then bsc btech paramedical okay so we receive student from diverse background so to you know bring all of them we conduct preparatory class and this is also this session also one of the session among the preparatory classes now those who have already completed bba they know you know a little bit about the summer internship program then uh, you know in some places in bcom also uh, internships are given then in btech also internships are there so uh, we will talk about the mba internship okay what happens in the mba internship now uh, to make you familiar with the mba type of internship basically we plan to have this session so this session you consider as a you know uh, introduction to internship in mba or you are going to be familiar familiar with the what happens in the mba internship so that you know when internship comes so you can uh, smoothly go through this because uh, to complete the mba you need to complete internship okay so all student should consider internship with a serious you know view now as i said that uh, like uh, it will be an introduction so like when you will have the internship like after completion of the first year so in first year there will be two semester so two semester then two semester of you know six month each so after completion of two semester that is you know completion of one year then you will have the internship so now why we are talking because we start the uh, internship preparation very early so that all students during internship are well placed so you know first we will talk about what is uh, internship then i'll talk about the content of the mba internship which basically if i university tripura follow okay now first you know to make you familiar with the internship will uh, address the question that what do you understand by internship so as it is a first class just i will give you the answer an internship is a period of work experience offered by an organization for a limited period of time to student of different discipline see if you notice i have said one sentence within the one sentence you can get the meaning of the internship what i said i repeat an internship is a period of work experience period of work experience offered by a organization for a limited period of time to the student of different discipline okay so limited period of time means our internship is of two month duration now this year due to the you know covid 19 pandemic we have conducted online internship students from home they have performed the uh tax of different companies which is given by the companies okay and through this process students successfully have completed the internship now hopefully within you know few months uh condition will improve and uh, we may become uh, normal again like as earlier so that time you need to physically visit the company and you will be treated as a management trainee management trainee 
I repeat the word management trainee in a company, and there you know you need to work as per the company's guideline. Okay, so sometimes what happens if company gives some problems, the interns need to complete. Interns means the student, and if students. Become good performer, or students, uh, you know, do something good, productive, and company gets benefit. Company may hire them during the internship. Also, our student secures, you know, that we call pre-placement offer letter. Pre-placement offer letter that basically company provide to the student. And after completion of their MBA, they may join in that particular company. So that depends on the students, you know, work status with that particular company. Now, in the internship process, student can engage company for them. We also come forward. We also help. We have lot of companies network. And we also approach company, and company, you know, absorb students. There is a formalities uh, we go through, procedure we go through. Then after completion of that formalities and procedures, students are absorbed as a interns in a particular company. Now our, you know, internship uh, companies like uh, Pran Beverage Private Limited. India Private Limited, then HDFC Bank, then uh, OIPC, OTPC, NGCL, and different banks. Then uh, we send students outside also, outside Tripura. There are different, you know, uh, software companies also. Then microfinance companies. Okay, so. Every time, every time there is a you know a, a differentiation in the companies because like a new companies comes. So when new companies comes, they needs you know human resource manpower. Okay, like one new company like Samasta Microfinance, they have you know um, hired few of our students. Okay, during the internship they did well, and after that they have recruit themselves. Like this, you know, there is, you know, large number of companies. Companies are there, vacancies are there, but company needs, you know, skilled personnel, skilled personnel, efficient and skilled personnel, those who can work for the company, and that should be profit driven. What I said, profit driven. Okay, so again. To summarize what is internship, I will give uh, another, you know, concept of internship. Like I will uh, say that in other words, how we can define the internship. An internship is a professional learning experience that offers meaningful, practical work related to the student's field of study, and provides a clear, practical work related to student's field of study. and you know it also provides the project description for the work experience internship orients the students to the organization its culture and proposed work assignment what i said just i am repeating again like internship is a professional learning experience that offers meaningful practical work related to students field of study and provides a clear job or project description for the work experience like say for example one person is given day to day managerial work in a particular you know uh, microfinance company 
so in a micro finance company based on the nature of the work the entrance will be responsible to carry out the day to day managerial job so from that student will gather experience okay and through this student will be familiar earlier i said entrance entrance will be familiar entrance means student will be familiar with the organization culture and proposed work assignment and in future same kind of or related to the work assignment given to the given to them during the internship they can perform in future also so this was basically you know about the internship now you know uh, i'll give you a brief idea about uh, ifa university tripura mba internship like in our mba internship uh, like uh, our internship basically takes place from uh, june to august okay what i said okay june every year every year so you know you you may have internship uh, june 2021 to august 2021 if uh, everything is smooth everything you know completes very smoothly and in time but if you know there is change we will inform you now in the internship there are some you know guideline format to follow i'll just highlight few of them like there is a leave application now during the internship period if students wants you know uh, leave leave means like somebody do not wants to go to the company for one day two day or for few days due to health problem or due to other problem so student need to take leave there is a format which we call leave application format so that student need to fill up for getting the sanction leave and that will be sanctioned by the company guide as well as faculty guide for every student there will be a faculty guide and one company guide then there will be weekly progress report weekly progress report every week student need to submit weekly progress report there you know attendance attendance are calculated and progress of the internship will be mentioned and based on this there is a evolution and weekly progress report there is you know marks now in uh, mba what are the things different i will highlight uh, just within few minutes now weekly progress report this is a format which is basically you know signed by the company guide as well as by faculty guide and faculty guide gives the marks then we have code of conduct during the registration of the internship student need to fill up a code of conduct form and after reading the uh, code of conduct guideline they need to sign that code of conduct guideline form now here uh, we have mentioned that what kind of behavior a student should do or what should not do simply Do's or don't do's during internship. I repeat, do's, don't do's during the internship are mentioned in the code of conduct form. Then you know there is a schedule. Okay, so in schedule, internship schedule, there are some you know uh, different things uh, which I I am going to mention and these. mix uh, you know a different mb internship from you know other ug internship now in the uh, during the mb internship every student need to submit you know a uh, three report three report one is initial report then interim report then final report 
what i said three report initial report then interim report then final report now initial report is basically a you know 3c report and short analysis so what is 3c report what is short analysis that you know uh, we will discuss later on just to know that uh, there will be an initial report then after that interim report interim report basically you know mba internship is target based okay all students are given target and within, it's a time bound and within that specified time student need to complete the target now in the interim report assessment happens based on the achievement of the target and task what i said in the interim report assessment takes place based on the achievement of the task and target then based on the interim report student need to give the interim presentation also then after the interim report then final report okay in the final report assessment are done based on the accomplishment of the task and target given to the student in the final report what happens assessment are done based on the completion of the completion or accomplishment of the task and target then after submission of the final report student need to appear for the final presentation so in a nutshell in mba summer internship every student need to submit three report initial report interim report and final report and student need to appear for two presentation final interim presentation interim report presentation and final presentation or after submission of the final report presenting the final report then if student perform well during the internship companies also provide pre placement offer letter as i mentioned earlier so if student are able to secure the pre placement offer letter for that also we have marks like whatever i said that is distributed in 100 marks so out of that 100 marks 10 marks are given for the pre placement offer letter so if any student gets uh, or able to secure the uh, pre placement offer letter he or she straight away will get the 10 marks the remaining 90 marks based on the submission of initial report interim report final report and weekly progress report okay so this is basically the internship you know uh, idea about the internship uh, introduction or internship idea you should have because you know when you uh, class will start so since that time all of you need to be very much careful about the internship because you know uh, internship basically takes place once in a year so if uh, anybody due to any reason are not able to complete the internship then it's a it's become a big challenge so hopefully you know all of you will be able to complete that and you know till now all of our students have completed it successfully and companies have appreciated the students works also you know in the mba level and in mba you know uh, like it will make you familiar with the corporate culture corporate culture and you know even uh, like uh, our student perform internship in uh, apollo hospital then itc then britannia so lot lot of companies are there but what we have seen from the placement point of view that you know companies looks for skilled and efficient personnel and who which is having shortage so if somebody become skilled full 
and uh, efficient enough to perform any tasks they will get job very easily okay and internship is part of the placement process so today uh, in the internship program uh, after this we are finishing after this session again i will have a interaction session so all of you be there